Hello, my name is Caroline, and this is part four of a five-part series on Magic Mirror without the mirror. We are using our Magic Mirror as a photo frame that goes through our Google Photos album and displays the date, time, current weather, and forecasted weather. If you've missed those videos, please go back and watch those first, as this video isn't going to make a lot of sense jumping in right in the middle. What am I going to accomplish in this video? In this video, we are adding in the bottom left-hand corner our Google schedule, our calendar, and we're going to be able to dynamically pull from our Google calendar the three next appointments on our calendar in the bottom left-hand corner. Now, of course, you can move these modules around any way, which way you'd like, but my preference is to have something in every corner. I hope you'll stick with me as we add Google Calendar to our magic mirror without the mirror today. Let's get started. First of all, we're viewing what we accomplished last week, what the photo frame looks like right now. And I'm going to uh, stop the photo frame, stop the magic mirror by hitting Control M and then Control C in our terminal window. Now we are going to work on our calendar today. So starting at magicmirror.builder, scroll down and I'm going to click on open source and visit the repository. And that opens the main GitHub page for a magic mirror. And I'm going to check out the modules. And on the modules, I see we have calendar. I'm going to click on calendar and see what it has to say about calendar. The default position is top left. You can move around and then there's a configuration. Okay, so there's number of maximum entries, maximum number of date. Is there's a symbol, not a symbol, title. All right, great, all that good stuff. Here are the properties that can be configured. Next, let's move into our config.js. Now in the last video, we go to config by going to our file manager, going to magic mirror, and then going into config, and then our config.js file. I have that open from the last tutorial, and we are going to check out the calendar. I commented out the calendar early on in the process, and now we're gonna add it back in calendar right now it's called us holidays it's in the position top left there's a symbol and there's a url okay excellent we can slightly modify this for our calendar so first of all i don't want the header i don't need that the position is going to be bottom left instead of top left as i showed you the first there are lots of different positions to change it into i am going to comment out url because i don't need that either and what i'm going to do instead is type in URL colon and then we are going to add in the URL of our calendar. Now, here's a trick. What's the URL of our calendar? Hmm, glad you asked. I'm going to go over to my Google Calendar, calendar.google.com. It shows me my full calendar and I'm going to get a private link to this calendar. I'm going to hit the settings menu, which is that gear icon, and then I'm going to click on settings, settings and then settings. And from there, I'm going to click on my calendar, Caroline's Photo Booth. That's the name of this account that I'm using. And then I'm going to scroll down, and it's going to give me all the way down secret address in iCal format. Now, above it, don't use this one, public address in iCal format. Well, use it if your calendar is public to the entire world to see, generally speaking, and the default option is that it is not public. Your calendar is private on Google. Yay. I'm going to take my private link right here and I am going to copy it. And that is the link I need. Let's add in the URL of our calendar that we just figured out in the last step. And also I want to go into maximum entries. I only want three entries. Now you can personalize this the way you would like it on your calendar. The way I figured this out is we do want to look at all the configurations possible. And so from the module of calendar, it gives us the code and then it gives us the configuration options I just went through and the first one was maximum entries and I wanted to add that. And you can also add maximum number of days and display symbol and everything else. Let's just leave it the way it is and I'm gonna hit save on this. Let's make sure I've got all my commas and everything. So you do need to know a little bit about coding, about when you need commas, when you need semicolons, just basic coding stuff. And I'm going to save. I've saved that. Let's restart our pie and see if that works. 
And there it is, we have our calendar. It's a little bit hard to read because I'm wearing a black shirt in this picture. So we wanna add the same treatment in our CSS as we did with our other modules of the white background at 50% transparency. So I'm going to hit Control M, Control C, and let's go into custom CSS. And all I'm gonna do is copy and paste the last module, CSS, paste that, and the name of this module is calendar. That's pretty easy to remember, Control C, custom CSS, so instead of weather forecast, we'll have calendar. Now we have a white background on all four of our modules. I'll hit save, and let's try this again. And there it is. We've now added the white background with black lettering into our custom photo frame here. I think it looks great. Thanks for watching, and next week is part five. Next week I'll cover how to auto start the Magic Mirror every time you plug in your Raspberry Pi without having to run the command. And I'll also show you this really cool, it's gonna look like an app on your smartphone. You will be able to control turn on and off each of these modules with the smartphone add-on here. And I'll show you how to configure that next week. Please stay tuned. In the meantime, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Bye now.